Hey everybody, so this is going to be a super simple tutorial on topological sort. I apologize for the uh, uh, mic and the audio quality. I don't have the best microphone, but here we go. So this is sort of the pseudocode for topological sort. It follows pretty much a very simple pattern. Um, first you find a vertex with nothing going into it, or no in degree, and that's going to be your starting point. You're going to write it down, and then you're going to remove the starting point and all vertices coming out of the starting point. Then you're just going to keep repeating that until you eventually have nothing left. So I know you might not quite understand what I mean by that, so we're just going to show you. I'm going to show you real quick. So let me zoom out a little bit, and I'll show you this little graph that I made. And um, let me uh, pull this over here a little bit so that way we can still uh, be able to see it. Here we go. So um, we right now have a bunch of different vertices. We've got A, B, C, D. Uh, e and F, and we've got arrows pointing either to or away from each vertice or vertex. So basically what we do is we try and find a vertex with nothing going into it. Now what do I mean by into this is, I mean, so if this was A, this is something going into it, and this is something going out of it. Okay? So with that in mind, we're going to find something with nothing going into it. And that would be um, C. C has two going out of it, but nothing going in. So we write down C, and then we delete C, and both arrows associated with it. So now, we look and we repeat the whole process. What has nothing going into it? A. A has nothing going into it. So we then delete A. And everything associated with it. So now we look again. Is there anything that has nothing else going into it? Yes, F. So we write down F. Delete F. And last but not least, we've got B, and it's pretty much apparent from here where we're going to end up with. We've got B, and then we've got obviously D, and nothing left but E. So that's our answer for a topological sort, at least for the first one. Alright, so we're going to try it again. And this time, maybe pause the video, check it out, try it yourself, see if you can figure it out. Alright, I hope you gave it a try, and now I'm going to solve it for you real quick. We start, we look for every single one that has, we don't start at A, that's what a lot of people mistake, they think it's lexicographical. We're going to start with the one with no in degree, which is going to end up being D, as we find out because D has nothing going into it, just two vertices going out of it. So we write down D, we then erase D and everything associated with it. The next one would be A, because A has two going out of it and nothing going into it. Erase A and both arrows associated with it. We note that B can come next, so we write it down and erase. Then we note that either C or G could be next. Note that it doesn't matter which one. So this could be an example of a bad problem, but a professor might give it to you. So what I do is I note, make like a little bracket here, and I say C, and then I say G to symbolize that either one would work. So let's say we did C, okay? So now we can also do G, and that leaves us with E, and lastly F, and then we're done. And finally, we'll do one more example, just to make really sure you got it. This one's sort of a big one, and give the video a pause, try it yourself, and come back. Lastly, here we go. I'm going to solve it. We start at H, that's pretty much apparent. So we write down H, then we've got A, and B, we have E, C comes next, and here, the only one that we can do next is F. F has nothing pointing to it. These and write down F, and then we can do D, and 
then we can do uh, J next. And then either I or G. And that's the answer. So hope you guys learned about topological sorting. It is a very basic sort. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.